Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jeb Smith. In today's video, we are going to address one of the questions you guys have been asking for for a long time, and that is, how long do you have to wait after filing bankruptcy if you want to purchase a home? So in today's video, we're going to dive into that in more detail. We're gonna talk about chapter seven bankruptcy, which is the most common. We're gonna talk about chapter 13 bankruptcy. We're gonna tell you what both of those um, allow you to do with regards to, to your debts, but we're more importantly going to tell you what you need to do, how long you need to wait if you're looking to buy a house and you've had to file for bankruptcy. We're gonna talk about conventional loans, we're gonna talk about FHA and VA loans, and we're also going to talk about USDA loans and give you the timelines on all of them and how long you need to wait, what you need to do if you're considering buying a property and you've been in bankruptcy or considering bankruptcy. And lastly, we're going to talk about the loan program that is the most lenient, the easiest to qualify when coming out of bankruptcy. But before we do that, I wanna take a minute and ask a favor. If you're new to me, new to my channel, and you like all things real estate related, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on content like this, things that will help guide you through the real estate process, whether you're a buyer or a seller. And if you find value in this content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I wanna to start today's video by talking about chapter seven bankruptcy. Now, chapter seven is the most common between the bankruptcies. This is when the court just wipes away your debt, if you will. Whatever you put as far as your bankruptcy gets wiped away, but unfortunately, along with that, your credit takes a large hit. So your credit is going to be more affected with chapter seven than say a chapter 13, but chapter seven is where your debts get wiped away. So how long do you need to wait if you're looking to buy a house after a chapter seven bankruptcy? Well, with conventional, you have to wait four years from that discharge date or the dismissal. So after discharge or dismissal, it's four years with conventional. With USDA, it is going to be three years. You have to wait three years after that discharge or dismissal. And with FHA and VA, you're only going to have to wait two years after your bankruptcy has been discharged or dismissed with a chapter seven. The second type of bankruptcy we're discussing today is a chapter 13. Now, not as common as a chapter seven. Now, a chapter 13 allows you to reorganize your debts. Uh, you get a schedule to, to pay these debts off over time. And one of the pluses of, say, Chapter 13 is that your credit isn't usually affected quite as much as filing a Chapter 7. So Chapter 13 is going to be less harsh on your credit. Now, for conventional loans in Chapter 13, it all depends on how it was handled in court. If it's a dismissal, you have to wait four years from the dismissal date in order to apply for a conventional loan. If it's a discharge, then you have to wait four years from the date it was filed, plus an additional two years from the dismissal. So a little bit more confusing there for conventional, but the, the date to keep in mind is, is four years. With USDA, it's only one year after a chapter 13. And with FHA and VA, once it's discharged or it's been dismissed, you can apply for a loan immediately. So just after it's been discharged or dismissed, you can apply for a loan with FHA or VA after a chapter 13 bankruptcy. One thing I did forget to mention a moment ago when talking about chapter seven bankruptcies, while it does affect your credit you know, more um, in the shorter term, it also stays on your re credit report for 10 years. Whereas a chapter 13 is less harsh on your credit, doesn't affect it quite as much, and only stays on your credit report for seven years. So now that we have the dates and what you need uh, to know with regards to timelines, let's take a minute and talk about which loan program is the most lenient, um, which I think you probably have gotten from now if you, if you were paying attention to the dates, and that's FHA. So FHA is going to allow you to have lower credit scores for one. It's going to allow you to have shorter time frames with the chapter 17 only two years after it's been discharged with the chapter 13. As soon as it's been discharged, you can apply for a loan. So you know, FHA is definitely going to be the easier loan program to qualify for after having a bankruptcy. And, and, and so keep that in mind. And now the question is, what do you do? Well, if, you, if you've just filed bankruptcy or you're coming out of bankruptcy, you're coming up on those timelines, what should you do if you're considering buying a house? 
No different than if you hadn't filed bankruptcy. You need to make sure that you're speaking to a mortgage professional, someone that can guide you through the process, answer your questions, you know, take a look at your credit report, see the necessary documents to make sure your income qualifies, that you have the assets, you know, the employment, all of that good stuff can go over the loan programs with you and help you understand what you're getting into. That's the basis of getting qualified to buy a home, whether you've been in bankruptcy or not. And that's where you should start if you're coming out of bankruptcy. Um, now, if you're just going into bankruptcy, you probably want to wait till you get closer to that time frame to go through the process because otherwise, you're not really doing um, yourself any good because you're still going to have to wait that time frame. So as you start to get closer to that date, make sure you're working with a professional. If you don't have someone, do me a favor. As I always say, reach out to me directly. Um, I'm happy to put you in touch with someone who can help guide you through that process regardless of what state you're in. And if you need a real estate agent in one of those states, you can reach out to me as well. And I'm happy to put you in touch with someone that does business the same way I do. I network with a lot of professionals out there and I'm happy to, to help uh, put you in the right hands. Uh, but if you have additional questions on bankruptcy, on buying a house, uh, whether it's after bankruptcy or maybe not, nothing to even do with bankruptcy, you just have questions, do me a favor, comment below. Um, but for now, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I appreciate all the continued support and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.